So, in this video today we are going to see something about requirement engineering. Basically, we have seen something about uh, what requirements are, like uh, what can be their categories, functional requirement, non-functional requirement and domain specific requirements. However, now we are actually trying to see how these requirements can be written, right? How can we make a requirement document? So, here let us start. So, the software requirement document, what it is the software requirement document is the official statement of what is required of the system developers. What do this software uh, system developers need to do, right? System developers will write certain um, code and develop some of something which will uh, have certain behavior. So, what kind of behaviors it should have, right? It should include both a definition of the user requirements and a special specification of the system requirements. We have understood that user requirements are a simple abstract kind of requirements. However, the system requirements when we think about it is a specification means it is detailed requirements. Okay? So, it should include both of them. It is not a design document. So, in design document what happens? We specify how these things can be done. Okay? However, here actually we are more into defining what the system should do. Okay? We do not bother about how it will be done. Now, these requirements if you think uh, about uh, agile system, in agile methods what is happening? We understand that there is a something called change which will occur and which, which continuously occurs. right? So, in that case having a requirement document before in hand before development it is not that um, good practice. However, still we should have some document uh, have some way of uh, storing the requirements. In extreme programming XP you would have seen something that uh, requirements are coming uh, one after another, we used to store them in user stories and how we prioritize them and store them, we have seen this, right? So, here what we are understanding is in agile methodology, having a business requirement document is not that much uh, effective for us. However, still we manage to write the requirement because it is important uh, in some way. Okay, it may be in form of user stories or some kind of things. However, in agile methodology, we do not uh, um, concentrate on uh, getting all the requirements beforehand uh, af before uh, executing our construction phase or design phase. So, now let us see these kind of users who will interact with the requirements document. So, these are system customers. System customers will specify the requirements and read them to check that they meet their needs or not. Customers specify changes to the requirements. Managers are uh, those people who will use these requirement documents to plan accordingly. They will plan what should be the um, effective cost for this particular uh, project. They will bid accordingly. They may also plan uh, what, what should be the schedule, what should be the uh, activities and tasks associated. Right? System engineers will uh, use this requirement to understand what system is to be developed, what are the features to be included and what are the other non-functional requirements to consider. System test engineers are those who will use these requirements to develop validation tests for the system that whether the system which is developed is as and according to the need of the customer or not. System maintenance engineers will also interact with this document to see, to understand the system and also um, understand the relationship between its different parts. Okay? Now, this requirement may vary, um, this requirement document may vary uh, according to writing. Right? So, see the information in a requirements document depend on a type of system and the approach to development used. 
ok. We are talking about the information in requirements document. We can write it, it may depend on the system itself and the approach to the development itself. Accordingly, this requirement document may vary. Other thing is systems development incrementally developed incrementally will typically have less details in the requirement document ok as we do in uh, agile methodology right. Now, this systems uh, requirements document standards have been designed. Some of these standards have been designed by IEEE and maybe some others they can be adopted. Let me show you one format. This format is taken from the book Pressman. Okay. In this Pressman book, uh, this is a simple uh, format. You see, it starts with introduction, you will write some of the things, uh, what was the purpose, what is the scope and these kind of things and then overall description according to the features and uh, classes, use class diagrams will be there maybe and whatever the assumptions and dependencies are there. After that system features will be there. External interface requirements will be there, these are the hardware requirements, software requirement, these are the different vendors we will have to interact with. There are certain non-functional non requirement depending on the safety, performance, security and these kind of things. You may also have certain other appendixes, other requirements and after that uh, appendixes also, whatever if certain things you want to mention. Now other than that, uh, one format you can see it comes with uh, this uh, book of software engineering with Ian uh, Savarville. They are specifying like this, you can have preface, introduction, glossary, this kind of a specification and then uh, uh, wait a minute, system requirement specification, this functional and non-functional requirements, whatever some kind of data flow or these kind of diagrams if you want to include, they can be done. <coughs> and uh, whether it is evolving system or not, whatever hardware and um, other possible changes may occur, those information and related uh, information. So, th these are the formats you can use any one of them no issues. Requirements specification, the process of writing down the user and system requirement in a requirements document ok. So, you will have to specify the requirement. Now, this user requirements have to be understandable by end users and customers. Who are customers and who are end users? Customer is the company owner or main people who will pay you and users are those who will actually use this particular system. Maybe they are employee or the uh, or maybe the customers of those that company. Okay. So, uh, it should be understandable to both end users and customers. They might not have any technical background knowledge, right? So, system requirements are more detailed requirements and may include uh, uh, more technical information ok. This was user requirement and this was system requirement which is detailed requirements. So, the requirements may be part of contract for the system development. Now, if you think about how these requirements can be written, let us first talk about uh, the language right. It can be in natural language, simple English or any simple Hindi, whatever language we choose, simple English. So, it can be written in a uh, sentence, multiple sentences can be there. You can also assign numbers to per sentence, it is ok. Some sentences can be there to understand the requirement. There may be some problem, we will see what can be the problem, but before that are different methods, let us see. A structured natural language. You will use the sentences, no issues, but there should be a structure. First of all, you are writing this, then particular this and then accordingly. Designed uh, description uh, language, you will have certain kind of design, maybe it is tabular or something, you can uh, write according to that pattern only. Graphical notations also possible, you will see use case diagrams are uh, something which can be used to uh, specify the requirements. Mathematical specifications are also possible. You can have mathematical concepts to be written in uh, some formulas or you can use state uh, machines uh, or any such thing to represent your requirement ok. Now, let me tell you about requirements and uh, its relation with the design ok. In principle requirements should state what the system should do and design should describe how it does 
this is what we think this is in principle and this is something that should happen however we should understand that in practice while we are getting the requirement a quick design will help you right so uh, with the requirement if design uh, we do a little it is really nice so getting a design uh, with the requirement will uh, allow you to get the um, requirements more clear okay so a system architecture may be designed to structure the requirements a system may infer uh, interoperate with other systems that generate design requirements so many such kind of things will be there maybe some regulatory requirements will be there uh, so because of these reasons you may have to design along with the uh, requirements let me tell you about natural language uh, specification what happens you will write it in a uh, natural language only the sentences right so used for writing requirements because it is expressive intuitive and universal everybody can understand however there are certain guidelines what is the guideline you should invent a standard format and uh, use it for all the requirements use language in a consistent way that if you are using english use english only use self or uh, okay um, also some words should be specified for certain uh, understanding that you are using shall for mandatory requirements and should for desirable requirements such kind of a specification can also be done a standard format uh, it can be uh, standardized i should say use text highlighting some of the things can be highlighted to show some of the things that is uh, categorize uh, some uh, things avoid the use of jargons uh, jargons are something which are uh, um, like technical terms which are um, easily understandable to you people but may not be understandable to the outer people maybe those who are not in the uh, those who don't have knowledge in the computer science right so you should write it in a statement so that it could be understandable to all the people so it can have some uh, explanation to why the requirement is necessary now let me tell you about the problems related to natural language what are the problems lack of clarity since it is a um, natural statement it may be difficult to write your um, statement Uh, that could precisely tell you about the requirement okay so precision is difficult now requirement may be confusing sometimes you may not understand whether this requirement that the customer is saying you should keep it in functional or non functional requirement sometimes they may get mixed up also now uh, requirements amalgamation we are saying that multiple requirements were stated together that may happen this is an example coming from this book of yan samarville which is saying uh, let us take an example of uh, insulin pump so if you want to write it in a natural language you will write something like this the system shall measure the blood sugar and deliver insulin if required every 10 minutes or after some time or this that whatever needed maybe whatever formula you needed you need to write it everything in sentences so later on we will see a structured specification what happens in this approach you write the requirements where the freedom of the requirements written is limited you cannot write uh, any sentence as you wish right you will have to fo uh, follow a way suppose there is a form based specification in next slide we will see it what happens you will uh, try to keep a proper format first of all you will give the name of the function then you will describe some of the things like input what will be output accordingly you um, describe the requirement this will be uh, easy to understand for you and for the customer people also right so let me show you here this is a form based specification what happens first of all you will define the function then what are inputs what are outputs what are the um, 
this thing uh, information about uh, information needed means what is the source what of this input right description of the action to be taken pre and post conditions uh, what are what the side effects can be those all the things you should write side effects means what are the other functions it may affect right this is the an example you see function was compute insulin uh, description is something you write input it will um, current sugar reading source is some uh, kind of sensor output is something what should be this function which will tell you about the dose of the insulin uh, destination is main control loop okay action this is something something how to uh, find this value okay requirement precondition post condition and side effect in this way you can write a uh, requirement another way can be tabular specification here you may not use the natural language in a tabular format you can specify like what is the condition what is the action in this case if, the, if it is um, sugar level is between this particular day this is to be done okay according to this way you can write it through your specification so these multiple ways are there for your requirement specification now um, what we have to learn is what is actually the process of requirement engineering let us see this in next video